Welcome to an introduction to file fuzzing using the Peach Fuzzer platform. In this video, we will provide a brief technical demonstration to set up Peach Fuzzer to test a PNG file consumer. File fuzzing is a good way to test the robustness of file consumers. We do this by sending thousands of mutated files to the target program. Peach is flexible, allowing users to test a variety of file formats. File fuzzing involves the following steps. First, Peach digests a valid file that would be successfully opened by the test target. Second, the Peach engine mutates that valid file, creating a fuzzed file. Next, Peach directs the file consumer to open the fuzzed file while simultaneously monitoring for faults. Lastly, upon causing a fault, Peach's monitors capture fault data and reset the test environment. This process is repeated thousands of times. In this video, we will target a PNG file consumer called Visual PNG, which can be downloaded for free from schaik.com. We're using Peach Fuzzer version 3.9, released in the first quarter of 2016. And we'll also need the Windows Debugger and PageHeap monitors, available from msdn.microsoft.com. Setting up a file fuzzing session with Peach is a simple five-step process. Step 1. Configure your Peach Pit. Step 2. Configure your fuzzing target. Step 3. Configure monitors to find and record faults. Step 4. Run Peach Fuzzer. And Step 5. Analyze your test results. The first step upon opening Peach Fuzzer is to select the relevant Peach Pit for your testing goals. Peach Fuzzer offers over 50 pre-made file and network Peach Pits. Users with Peach Fuzzer Enterprise also have the ability to create custom pits, enabling them to test custom or proprietary protocols and file formats. For this demo, we will select the PNG Peach Pit and name it PNG Demo. The second step is to configure your target variables, allowing Peach to interact with the target. Here there are three options. The fuzz data file is what Peach names the mutated file that will be opened by the fuzzing target. We will use the default fuzzed PNG file name. Next up is the seed file. This is the name of the original valid file that will be mutated by the Peach engine. In this case, we are using the default asterisk.png. The asterisk behaves as a wildcard, allowing Peach to pull any file ending in the PNG file extension from a specified folder. Last up is the sample path. This is the folder in which the seed files are stored. Now for this demo, we're going to input a path containing the PNG image samples that are bundled with Peach. Next, we configure our monitors. Peach's monitors allow for valuable data capture and test case automation. Peach is able to use a range of monitors both locally and on remote machines. In this demo, Peach's monitors will reside on our local machine. We will be using two monitors, Windows Debugger and PageHeap. Windows Debugger is responsible for providing fault detection, fault data capture, and automation. PageHeap enhances the chance of finding faults by slowing some Windows processes. For both monitors, we will provide the executable path for Visual PNG as well as the path to these two monitors. For the Windows Debugger Monitor, we will also change the argument input to the path of the fuzzed file. This tells the file consumer to open the fuzzed file. Lastly, we will set the Start on Call function. This tells Peach when to open Visual PNG. In this case, we will set it to Exit Iteration Event, meaning Peach will open the program after it has created a fuzzed PNG file. With the release of Peach Fuzzer version 3.9, users now have the option of tuning the weighting of mutations. This allows users to target specific issues within their product. Here, we're going to use Peach's default mutation weighting. Now, we test our configuration to ensure that Peach Fuzzer is properly interacting with the target. Looks good. Once this test passes, we can begin our fuzzing session. 
The dashboard allows users to monitor Peach's progress throughout the session, providing details such as runtime, test cases executed, and faults found. We let this Peach session run for just over an hour. Peach found 19 faults after running over 8,000 test cases. Now here Peach shows the risk level of the fault based on industry standard information as well as fault major and minor hashes. Clicking on an individual fault gives more detail. This fault was found during test case 7878 and it is exploitable. Peach generates a number of files allowing users to analyze the faults in addition to detailed data from within the Peach GUI. Peach also features several advanced metrics windows. The bucket timeline shows when Peach found the first fault from a bucket, based on major hashes, throughout the duration of the testing session. The Mutators tab shows which mutators were used by Peach, how many test cases used a particular mutation, and how many faults occurred when that mutation was being used. In this demonstration, the data element duplicate mutator was used in 4,000 test cases, eight of which resulted in faults, while the number edge case mutator caused seven faults in just over 1,000 test cases. This would suggest that Visual PNG has more difficulty handling these two mutations. Similarly, the Elements tab shows which elements were targeted by Peach, how often they were targeted, and how many faults occurred. During this fuzzing session, the chunks.ztext.compression method element was targeted 43 times, 12 of which resulted in faults. Clearly, this element needs some attention. The Buckets tab places similar faults together based on their major and minor hashes. Faults which occur more frequently are likely worth examining first. Once a fuzzing job is completed, Peach Fuzzer produces a structured PDF report detailing all of the fault data produced. This can be handed off to product teams, enabling them to improve product security as part of the secure development lifecycle. That wraps up our brief technical demonstration of file fuzzing using the Peach Fuzzer platform. Thank you for watching.